Hi there, this is David A, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, A Tear of a Million. Last time, Rail and Lenoa joined us, and uh, let's go ahead and get them all set up. Basically, what we ended up doing is going to Gia, and they couldn't get out the ore out of the mine for the rare metal sword or whatever. They needed help from the sorcery school, and um, yeah, so we're here to help them out. Pretty much, I'm giving the power wrists to Rail for attack power, and for Eleanoa, I'm giving her the Moon Rings for extra magic power. And as far as equipment is concerned, just whatever you have left over that's more powerful than what they have is perfectly fine. And Rutis still doesn't want to see your brother. Really? Wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, she has her own reasons. She didn't want to see him last time, too. Well, what's going on? What's... what's happening? Really? Really? Yeah, Lucius went inside the uh, mine earlier to deal with the monsters, and apparently the monsters must have overwhelmed her? I guess. I mean, it seems that way. Oh. So, Ru so Ruka is trapped in the mine with all the monsters, and we can't get in touch with Lucius either? Oh, well, this is terrible. We have to go help him. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. I mean, just because we can't get in contact with her doesn't mean that she's hurt. Hopefully. I mean, she has sapphire eyes. She should be fine. Oh, okay. Well, awesome. Great. Yeah, we have a really heavy magic using party this time. Okay. Yeah, no problem. God forbid a soldier does his job. It's always up to us. But before we head into the mine, Let's go into the weapon shop, because there's, uh, some new stuff here that we can purchase. So, there we go. Let's see what I want to get here. There's some better stuff from Rail and Eleanoa, but I don't care about them. I'm gonna buy a stiletto for Rutis, and, uh, go exchange your peers and all that, and then buy two bandits males. That'd be really nice for Avon and Rutis as well. And then if you want to upgrade, um, uh, Rail and Eleanoa's armor, you can. I don't think it's all that necessary. Just, you know, make sure it's better than the leather armor that they already had. And as far as the magic is concerned, Eleanoa is a spirit magic user. She doesn't have black or white magic. She can only summon spirits, but that's really nice. And she has these two skills, When I never really use skills, so I really don't care about them. Rail is just a pure black magic user. These are all the spells that he has, which is pretty par of the course. His deadly attack and his skill. I believe that all that does is up his magic attack power, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but again, I don't use skills, so I don't really know. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, like, you can kill the enemies in this game between regular physical hits and deadly attacks. Like, you don't even really need to use magic, let alone skills. Skills really don't become good until, like, the Trails in the Sky series. Um, where, where they end up becoming, you know, crafts instead. Okay, so to head inside the mine, we have to take this little, uh, cart. Whee! Yeah, kind of fun. Nice. Too bad the cart's so slow. And now there's two carts here, a left cart and a right cart. The right cart leads you to a dead end filled with monsters. You do not want to take the right cart. So, go ahead and take the left cart. And the cart ride is rather long, unfortunately. Um, it would be nice if it was just like, you know, kind of like in like Dragon Quest, where you get on a cart, or like that cart ride in Final Fantasy VI, where it's, you know, fast and exciting, and, you know, there's stuff going on, the music is fantastic and all that. Not so much in this game. It's slow and boring and long, and I cannot believe that we're still on this frickin' cart. Like, holy, like, who, who thought that this was a good idea to make this frickin' cart sequence so long? I mean, just get us in the damn mine already, come on. Ugh, thank God. Man, a oh man. Okay, so going around here, there's a little bit, yeah, there's still more of these little summoned monster guys that we've seen before. Uh, I guess there must be, like, a sorcerer in here somewhere summoning things. Look, wh what is it? Oh, it's Lucius! Hey! Um, yeah, we did. Is she okay? She looks hurt. 
Oh, she lost consciousness, so is she put to sleep or paralyzed or something? Oh, great. A young man with silver hair and a sorcerer wearing a hood. We haven't heard anything about a young man with silver hair. Yeah, it must just be some more of Octum's apostles. But the sorcerers, we've seen plenty of sorcerers. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just carry her out of here and we'll take care of the monsters! We can do that, no problem! So, here we have the twin compies and the goat compies, or comps, or whatever you want to call them. Either way, they're very easy. The twin comps are wind elemental, the goat ones are fire elemental, so, for the most part, what you want to do is, um, just blast them with magic, and really, the best thing to do is to have Eleanor use her water spirit magic, which pretty much wipe out the red copies. And, uh, if you want to, you can have Rail use his physical attacks. I mean, I did give him the power risk, so he does have more powerful physical attacks. Or you can have him cast water magic against them. It's totally completely up to you. It's probably quicker just to have him physically attack, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. As far as healing is concerned, your only healer right now is Rutis, so you want to use her for healing also. And, uh, the green ones, the twin ones, can cast silence against you, not that that really matters, and the red ones can cast, like, a fireball on you. Again, not that that really matters. Yeah, easy enough. Okay, let's do it! And before we go and rescue them, we have to go on yet another cart ride. Oh, joy! Thanks, game! Thankfully, though, this one is much shorter than the first. Yeah, something tells me they probably had this one long and convoluted in, like, the first iteration of the game, and, uh, they more than likely cut that out for this. If you didn't know, this game actually came out, like, early in the 90s. I want to say it was, like, 93 or 94 when it first came out on, I think it was the TurboGrafx-16, I'm pretty sure? Or was it called the Turbo Engine back then in Japan? I don't know. But anyway, go to the left-hand side first in the Guillemine, and you want to examine this plaque here, and that will give you another history note. If you do not examine the plaque now, you can never do it again. It is a missable. Keep that in mind. Once you hit here, you're screwed, and you can no longer visit that plaque. So it's very vitally important that you go left first before you go right. Oh, great. Yeah, this sorcerer is gonna do them in. Oh, hey, in the nick of time. Sweet. Yeah, y'all all right? Yeah, we don't have time for, like, a little teary-eyed reunion. We have to kick some sorcerer ass. And it will be very easy, believe me. He just summons more of the same guys that we've seen before. So, let's get rid of them the way that we know how, along with the sorcerer. And the sorcerer only has roughly 400 HP. And the comps only have about 200 HP. So we can take care of them very quickly. What you want to do is have even summon Scotia. Have Rutis use her deadly attack against the sorcerer. Same thing with Real, use his deadly attack against the sorcerer. And have Eleanor summon Undyne with her summoning. And between all this, it really should kill them all in one round. I mean, they're relatively simple. The sorcerer, as usual, will just pretty much cast slow down on you. I don't know why they think that, like, a boss should just cast slow down. It's pretty ridiculous if you ask me. I mean, <laughs> like, do some damage, you know? Have, have like, a multi-targeting damaging spell. Maybe the sorcerer should have a summon of their own, you know, and actually make us, you know, feel threatened for once in our life? But, no. Not today, and not this game. So, with Scotia, hopefully this clears them out. Please. Hey, sweet! Did him in. Awesome. I didn't have to use any kind of MP restoring items or anything. That was great. Yeah, I went through and I fought every single monster group that I could, and I used um, Eleanor's summons every single battle, and she was still perfectly fine as far as, you know, not needing any kind of restorative items. Yeah, she's back for you. Hopefully, you bitch. Tell him that you're back for him. What's your problem? 
Oh, that's that's nice. That's sweet. Maybe she actually has a heart after all. Oh. Yeah. You know, I don't really feel bad for Rutis. I feel bad for Ruka. You know, Ruka has pretty much been held hostage by his um, worry and grief about Rutis because, you know, number one, she left him, and then whenever she did, or whenever he did see her, she was part of the Octum's Apostles, you know? I mean, he, he would be worried sick. Oh, great, you have plenty of rare metal ore, you can start refining it right away, you can start making that sword? Oh, great, so it's not going to be ready right now. But it will be ready once we go to all four spirit shrines, collect their various MacGuffins, and move on with life. Oh, hey, Lucius. You seem fine. You good to go? Oh, so you were put to sleep. Yeah. Too bad you don't have a uh, anti-sleep accessory. That'd be too much to ask. Oh, a young man with silver hair. Huh. Really? More powerful than Borgia? You're kidding. I wonder if he's like the endgame super boss. I wonder if like the final boss is now kind of running around trying to, um, you know, kill people or whatever. But then again, why wouldn't the final boss just put her to sleep? Why wouldn't the final boss try to kill her? That's kind of odd. Oh, okay, we'll see you guys. So, uh, Eleanor and Rail are just staying behind over here, and I guess Lucius is gonna rejoin our party, so that's pretty good. This is the reason why I didn't really purchase them any upgrades at all, because they're only with you for one dungeon, and the dungeon is so short that there's really no reason to, um, you know, buy any equipment for them at all. So, where to now? What should we do? Yeah, why don't you stay behind with him? Oh, you need to get your life in order? Oh. Okay. That's a really good idea, you know, travel with Ava to protect the world, and that way you're actually protecting your brother as well. Oh. Yeah, she has hope for the future. What's wrong with you, Lucius? You still in love with Douglas? <laughs> okay, so we need to go to the Garden Hill next time, go to the Grand Canyon, uh, to the east. Okay, we can do that. But first, the plant manager said that he had a, um, a reward for us over in the guild. So let's go over there and see what our great reward is. I can't wait for saving this town and their economy and all their livelihood. We get a rare potion. Are you for real, game? A frickin' rare potion? Oh my god. I have like a billion of those. Y'all are cheap bastards. Screw you all. I'm never helping you again. Anyway, next time. Now let's play The Legend of Heroes Tier of a Million. We're gonna head off to Garden Hill and get the hell out of this cheapskate town. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.